Hey, welcome back to another Magic the Gathering video. We're here at the Nexus in Randburg for the pre-release of the new edition, War of the Spark. We're very excited about this, it's much anticipated. It's the end game of Nicol Bolas's schemings and plannings and all that kind of jazz. Something else very cool that's happening today is our very own Melissa, yes, that's you, Mel, you, behind the camera, is gonna be playing in her first pre-release. I'm gonna die. We try to teach you a little bit of how to play sealed. Not sure if it's worked so well, we'll have to find out today. Hopefully she won't die too much. We're gonna go and play some magic, have some fun, kick some ass, hopefully, or get some ass kicked. We'll see what happens. All the zombies! <laughs> what you have in the, your pack is your product. That's all you're allowed to use. Well, it's first time to play again in 11 years, so yeah. it's a good set to come back to. No, it's feeling good. Let's hope that it, uh, it comes together. Oh, oh, oh. A lot of good stuff in the set. Hoping to pull either a Nissa or a Cranko. Oh, yeah. Stuff Nickel Bonus. My zombie EDH deck is already on its way. <laughs> a shock dream ring. Enter the God Eternals. Casualties of war. And of Nixon. But he got the really good stuff. Word. Okay, so he says you got the really good stuff. Which yeah. one? Uh, I managed to pull a Oketra. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's really strong in this format. Uh, and then for my modern deck, uh, Ashiok Nightmare we got. So at the moment, it looks like we're going to be playing some black. They've done, uh, I think, a fantastic job with the set. All the main walkers. Chaos. <laughs> it's weird, but we'll see. Well, I think it's going to change the standard meta drastically. It feels like the, the meta of damage has changed before the spark, because you're not... I mean, obviously, you're still concerned about beating your opponent and taking his life total down to zero. But you're very concerned about the planeswalkers they have on the deck, and so you're more interested in getting rid of the planeswalker armies first before you actually focus on your opponent. It's a, bit, it's a different strategy. I think it'll make for a longer game. Absolute man, it's like this set is going to break magic for a while. Hey everybody, so War of the Spark pre-release here at the Nexus. Over 90 people pitched up for the event. Mel even played a game or two, although Apparently it didn't go very well. For me it didn't go so well either. I had a very strange little deck. I was trying to play three colors. First time I tried to do that in pre-release. When it worked, it really worked, but most of the time it didn't work so well. But anyway, we hope that everybody who was here had a fantastic time. This new set is broken. Uh, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic to play and it's gonna change the meta of the game, which I think everybody's looking forward to. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna go play some more Magic and uh, we'll catch you again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Boop, <laughs>